Hello, and welcome to Piano Island. Well, I'm a little surprised. I came to my island today, and I must have forgot to pay my rent. Which, you know what happens when you don't pay your rent. Well, maybe some of you don't know what happens. Actually, I'm lucky. I don't really know what happens. But um, they, they got rid of everything. Where's my pianos? Where's my where's my house? Where's my boat? Well, I did renew, and uh, this is mine again. But I must have just been um, distracted and away for a while, and and doing the uh, Second Life birthday so much that uh, I just wasn't paying attention to my mail, my notifications, and when I came back, it was like a boing. But um, that's okay. I went shopping around to look at some other places, but I just really seemed to like this one seemed to work out really good. It was um, had enough privacy and it was enough room. And now I'll just be able to start over again. So you'll be able to watch me put, put the house down and uh, change the land. So it's probably worked out for the best, but they, they let me take it back. Uh, well, it was up to rent for anybody to take. I just, I teleported home and it was up for sale. So I'm back. I'm paid up and we're going to do some more exploring because this world is never ending and it's certainly not ending today. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's pretend like we are starting from scratch, which we kind of are. And so we've acquired the land. Land, let's take a look about the land. The owner is Vivtor Whitfield. Thank you. Um, so I guess the first thing I would probably have done is put my, my house down. And I think it's a good idea to show you how to manipulate the land. And so how we do that is we um, right click and we go edit terrain. So here's all these controls. Um, flatten, which is already flat. So it's been flattened. You can raise. That's how these hills were made in the background. Uh, lower, smooth, roughen and revert. So I think what, what the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lower and see if I can remember this. Let's, uh, this is where we had my boat and what we can do is we can draw out something to contain our work. So I'm going to, I've drawn out this yellow square, just uh, left click and drag. If you, if you Bring out another one, it'll erase the other one. So that one's going up the hill. So let's see. Yeah, kind of this area here. And, you know, we can always change if we don't like it. So we're going to lower. And then over here we have uh, the size of the lowering. Think of it as the, and actually it shows it over here like a bulldozer. And the strength is how fast it's going to lower it. So let's just do a test. Um, let's start clicking and holding and you can see how the water is starting to appear. And it's pretty much staying in that square. And it depends on how natural you want um, it to look. And you know, there could be some fun artistic changes here. Um, I think I'm gonna go a little deeper seems like seems like when it's deeper the water is darker and it looks like it could hold the vessel okay so let's that was quick and I think another thing I did was um, let's see let's do a little bit of a 
lowering of the uh, shore. On uh, this one, you might change the size a little bit. And just to bring some, a little natural water line up. And I think around the house, if you can remember my other place, before I got kicked out, um, there was a little bit more of a beach. But this is part of the fun. Is, uh, and then we're going to alt click and drag and move it around. Yeah, this, I think we don't want such a harsh line there. So what I'll do is I'll select land again. And let's do another one. And we'll just start, see, lower. And we'll just start lowering just to bring the beach in a little bit. Just too square. Doesn't look quite natural. And then I think what I'll do is um, edit terrain, select, and then we'll just go to lower. Actually, we don't even want to uh, select. We just want to do this kind of freehanded. So I'm going to kind of get in here a little bit closer. And I think I'm going to bring the beach up just a little bit more natural. You know, with how the waves would move in. And I don't know if I can go over there. There's a something, you know, there's part of the land that says that that's as far as you can go. Of course. Let's kind of soften up that. And then, too, you can see. Um, uh, just aesthetically, looks like um, it depends on uh, the land that you got and the the way the uh, graphics are done in your particular area. But this um, water, yeah, see, there's your there's your beach, and it just is a matter of. Probably have to come back a little bit more so that it doesn't look like such a sharp drop off. But that's all a part of the, um, the aesthetics. But uh, you can work hours on that. Actually, I was kind of peeking over my neighbors. See, I love the way that, isn't that cool? The way um, the water goes around. And this one is. It's almost like water, water world over here. They got a lot of water. But we're going to be doing um, a lot of building and we kind of need some space to work with. So at least I got a um, spot for my boat. And of course we'll put the house back kind of way it was. In fact, we can do that right now. Let's do that. In fact, let's land. Ah. So, this is the f an interesting part, is I'm going into my suitcase, I don't know if you get, yeah, and then I'm going to be, I'm going to do a search, because I know the name of my, my house, so it's Lido West, um, and uh, there's all these different parts, but I just need the Lido West house. So here it is right here. So I'm going to pull it out and there it is right there. All we need to do for now. And it's asking me if I want to res the house. But um, this is where you have an opportunity or you res it, you edit it, and I'm going to move it. Because as soon as we res it, we can still move it, but there's certain procedures that I want to show you. So let's say this is the front and I get confused because I forget what is the front of the house. Depends on which way you want to look at it. Okay, so we put it down here. Pretty much flush with the ground. And I'll show you, this is a kind of an interesting part. We're going to res it and then 
show you from there exactly. Ah, see, it's always, oh my, okay, that's the front. So now it's resed, but it's not quite in the spot we want it to be. So this box is still important. So let's edit the box. And this is kind of fun. And you move the box and then house moves. And we need to move it over here. And uh, just kind of getting in the way. That's um, kind of the way it was. I can do it kind of from a distance here too. So we edit the box. Oops. Edit. Okay, as long as it's got these arrows. And then that moves the house. And then you can take an opportunity here to see if it's kind of the way you want it. That's I really like that position for the house because it just seems like it has access to all the views. So I think we're going to plant it there. Make a you can do a nice little walk around. And those of you that have seen, maybe we'll do a fly around. Seen my other videos when Piano Island was being set up. This is kind of the um, position that it was in. So at this point, you would leave this box up until you get it exactly the way you want. Because otherwise it's a little hard to move because there's a lot of different parts involved in this house. So, um, de-res would mean, um, I don't know why you would de-res it. I guess if you weren't happy with it, because you can just keep moving it around with this box. So now I'm gonna do is hit save. And then it should take that box away or I can just delete it. No. I always take it because I'm afraid that I'm going to give, I'm going to delete my house. Sometimes I have several houses in my inventory. So there we go. And then uh, quickly we could pull out the yacht. We go into the inventory and there we go, free sailing yacht. I just found out something interesting about this um, yacht. Is that when you sit down and uh, hit the command ride, you can take it around, it moves. And it also goes on the sand too. Also goes on the sand. So we're going to do this just like any object. Hit Alt. Let's see. Maybe I need to be a little closer. Control, Control. To spin. And then you can hold your, your um, dial out further here. And then that usually puts you perpendicular with uh, northwest, east, and south. East and west. The, the horn's blowing. Let's see here. Really good to get um, a little different perspective sometimes. You think you got it in the right spot, and then no, and then you put it in the water. See what that looks like up against the water. I don't think, um, well, maybe. What do you think? I think it should be under the water a little bit, or do we like seeing that black line? I think I kind of like that. That looks nice and straight. We'll move it again, because I also, I don't know if I saved it, but I had built a deck to get out to this. So let's see if Viftor or David remembered to save his deck. No. I spent some time on that, but I, that's what I get. Didn't pay my rent. And they just come in and reclaim the land. And they've got one little button that they click that says return all the objects to the owner. And then everything disappears. And then they had to come in and change this, what I had changed with the, um, the terrain. 
So we're getting there pretty quick. I'm going to do a lot more stuff. But um, right now we're going to be going to one of the most exciting places right now because um, Second Life is doing their birthday celebration. And I am not done exploring. Um, me and preferences. And general and make this um, moderate so we don't accidentally pop into something and be surprised. This is for kids and this is for adults and this is for adult play too. So just be aware of what you're wanting to get into. Just like anything, the internet has those different variations as well. I can watch cartoons and I can also find things that are not appropriate for children. 16th birthday party. Take a, take a trip. And this is a busy place. As you can see, I just teleported in and people are teleporting right on top of me because they are coming in quick. And the real nice thing is that um, you can uh, fly. So that makes uh, everything a lot, a lot easier to get to because this is a pretty big place. So I'm just going to go over here and we'll probably, um, I'll cut to one of my um, edited versions of checking out this area. There's a lot of fun stuff going on. Uh, Second Life 16th birthday party, Vivtor, we'll see you in a minute. <laughs> 